Hey guys, David Pingry with Vital MX, and we're here today with a, a cool project build. It's a 2002 CR125, and this is the bike that Michael Lieb raced at the Red Bull Straight Rhythm this year. And uh, it's obviously an homage to Ernesto Fonseca and his factory Honda days. Uh, looks very, very similar to that bike, and uh, we'll get into some of the things that were done to it, but uh, a lot of fun. And Michael did really well on this thing, second at Straight Rhythm, which is impressive, especially once you hear the story on this thing. So. Uh, thanks for joining us today. You obviously had some time on this. I got to ride it today a little bit, and uh, they picked your buddy of yours picked this up for 900 bucks in pretty good shape aesthetically. But he said the bottom end sounded like it had uh, like a gravel soup mixed into the bottom of it. So uh, this thing had to be completely torn down, all new bottom end, crank bearings, everything. And he started by putting a 144 kit on it. That's what he thought he purchased, had it put on. It was dynoed, and it actually the numbers were slightly worse than stock. So it didn't quite turn out the way he was hoping. So uh, at the last minute, they decided to race the straight rhythm. Michael was gonna jump on this thing, so they went to work uh, really fast and furiously trying to get this thing ready. Uh, Terry Varner jumped in and did the motor. Uh, it, it, it ended up being a 134 kit, right? Is that yeah, what I understood? Yeah, that's where we ended up at. So anyway, he did the best he could. He actually got this thing to produce pretty good horsepower numbers. And they did some neat things just as far as the look. Obviously the graphics, which were done by Split Designs, he did the graphics to look a lot like Ernesto's bike and it came out looking great. I was walking up going, wow, where'd they get the work suspension and clamps? This is actually a stock clamp. He just had it polished and anodized and same with the fork, stock fork, just with the coating on it that makes it look that way. But it looks trick. It looks a lot like the work stuff of that era. Faster USA built the wheel set, really cool hubs that they make. Those guys do an awesome job. It's got the newest Dunlop tires on here. Uh, the MX-53s, which are perfect for today and for the straight rhythm. ODI bars and grips, moto seat, um, and some really cool IMS foot pegs, which obviously were a, an improvement from the stock units. So they did a lot of work to this thing, making it look cool and, and making it uh, competitive. Michael, tell us about your experience with the straight rhythm. Yeah, I mean, straight rhythm's fun. I mean, I I really didn't know how good the 150s were. I mean, like, just kind of came in blind to it. I mean, we li literally decided, like, I think it was two weeks before the event to just kind of go race. Yeah. So called Red Bull, got Jeremy Mallet on the phone, decided to go throw this thing together. Um, and kind of when we, I think when we started riding it, I think it was like three days before the event. So it was like, it was crunch time. And then finally started getting comfortable at the event itself but uh, at the same time I mean Varner did an amazing job like I've rode stock Hondas since and I've rode other Honda 125s and like this thing is far far better than you know the other things that I've rode and no it's super quick and really fun to ride but you got second at straight rhythm so you made it yeah work. yeah I got second at straight rhythm I had to ride the piss out of this thing um, like every scrub section that I can get and every little bit like that I could do it's what uh, all in all it was it was really fun well, so a couple of interesting things that caught my eye on this bike. The IMS pegs, uh, I don't know if it's just a nickname, but they called them scrub pegs. They were actually made uh, more narrow so that they don't hang out as far. So when you're scrubbing jumps, you don't catch them on the tops of the jumps. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was neat. I had never really heard of that before, but I thought that was interesting. And then the guys at uh, Liner Suspension did the suspension on this thing. And I knew it would be stiff. But it's really stiff. I we, mean, it's like basically steel rods up there for forks. Walter Laner, they're they're so good. I can literally tell him kind of what I'm doing and what I'm needing. And he understands me so well. And we've got such good connection. And his stuff works so well. I mean, to me, this is soft still. Yeah. Like, this is like 
really on the soft side. I got old man. Yeah, wrists, I mean, so. outdoor <laughs> stuff like this isn't going to be any fun. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, they they crushed it. Well, one of the things I noticed uh, just riding this thing today was there's and, and I remember this from my days on a Honda 125. There's a pretty big gap from second to third, and that was one thing I kept finding myself kind of in between gears. And you can chase it with gearing, but. The simple fact is the tranny has a pretty big space between second and third gear. We used to run a, a works transmission that had taller first and second to kind of close that gap, but I was struggling with that a little bit today. If the corner's tight, second gear was good, Yeah. but then I have to wind it way out fourth to even pull third. It's not like I can grab third right away once I start taking off. So that was one little thing that I was struggling with. <laughs> This was a lot of fun to ride once you get the hang of it and kind of remember you got to really wind it out it's super fun to ride super light really turned well even with the stiff suspension it, it wouldn't settle into stuff but it's still so light you can just carve with it the jumps are fun i mean it's just a really fun bike it was it was and yeah like i said varna did a, a, as good of a job as he could have done with these things laner did well on it uh rival pulled this thing together i mean Kit looked pretty on point and straight rhythm. Yeah, and also the your gear. You had, uh, so Canvas is your gear company that makes uh, like custom gear. You can design it however you want, put yeah. whatever logos on it you want. And um, you did a, a TLD replica like Ernesto wore that year, but it's it was MLD. I went with the Mike Leave designs instead of the Troy Lee designs. <laughs> and was, we, yeah, we, we did good. And I, I sent photos to Ernie and I, I, I think he would have been pumped on it too. So uh, it was fun, man. Yeah, well, it was very cool. If you didn't see the straight rhythm, check it out. It was a really fun event and uh, Michael crushed it on this thing. So thanks for letting us ride it. It was a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully it's not the last 125 I ride here. These are always my favorite, and uh, this one was no exception. Lots of fun. Thanks to all the companies. Also want to mention Henson. Probably the one thing on this bike that's getting abused more than anything is that clutch, and they uh, we ran the full Henson clutch on this thing, and it works awesome. So thanks to those guys. Thank you to everybody involved in the build. Thanks to the Leaps for letting us ride it. Rocket Exhaust, uh, his company, along with Canvas, and uh, check those guys out. Thanks for watching. We're going to see you guys on the next build.